Hey guys, so today I want to show you something pretty cool that you can actually do with um, the new Mac OS Catalina 10.15. So what Mac OS Catalina actually does is separate your data from your regular hard drive. So let's go into Disk Utility real quick. And you can actually just go into the App Launcher. And you can go here, and there's Disk Utility. And you can see here there's a Mac SSD and Mac SSD data. This is just what I called my hard drive. It's just a Mac SSD. And data is exactly what you think it is. It's just the data partition that's actually on the hard drive itself. And, that's, and that can show you as like, it's going to make sure you have the desktop, the documents, downloads. It's going to keep your user folder. And it's going to keep everything else system oriented on a different partition on the hard drive. And that's really cool. So if I had a problem with my Mac OS Catalina and I needed to reinstall the operating system, but I wanted to keep my data and I didn't have a USB handy or I just want to make it extremely convenient and just reinstall the operating system without losing any data that I have. Can I do that? And it looks like you can so I'm going to show you guys what exactly I'm talking about is we're going to just wipe this partition reinstall this partition here and then we're going to take our data that's on this data partition and transfer it back and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we have the installer here. Just when you hold Option down, if you have a USB, or if you're going through the recovery, you can just hold Command R. So let's do install Mac OS Catalina. Okay, guys. So once you get back into the installer itself, you actually want to go into Disk Utility. And now you're going to see these two partitions. Now we want to make sure we don't touch the Mac SSD data. So it's going to be whatever your hard drive's name is in data. Data obviously makes sense. So it's very straightforward and clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to wipe this one. And we're going to hit erase on the Mac SSD. And you're just going to reformat it the same way, which is fine. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, and you can see the data is still left alone there. Which is just wiped it so it should be completely blank. I'll show you that. So this one's blank, and then it's just showing the usage of the data here. Now, if you did have uh, more usage, it would be a little bit different. And it depends how much data you have. If you don't have a ton of free space, you want to make sure you do have enough free space to compensate for this one. So, okay, so it looks good. And what we're going to do is now is we're going to go install the operating system on here. So you can close out Disk Utility. Then you can go to install Mac OS. Okay, there's Mac OS Catalina. Okay. Yep, agree to the license. You don't have a choice. All right, so then hit the Mac SSD, which is where we want to install it. And install. Oops, they're not connected. Anyways, I'm going to skip through this. I need to connect this to power, and I'm going to load it back up once we're all installed. Just go through that little process. Okay, so now we reinstalled the operating system. So what you want to do now is we can check. We actually go into Disk Utility. Again, and you can see now we have two. So you look at the picture of the hard drive, and you'll notice that it doesn't have a little house icon. So that's the one that has all the backup data on it. So sometimes you may need to mount it. It might be grayed out. Once you hit this button over here, it will mount it. Um, if you don't have that problem, just leave it alone. So all you have to do now is since we do see it and it's there, and we do see that there are a few different locations. So sometimes you can actually just go into it and you'll see the locations. This is, would be like a separate disk. So you can see that we do have a separate disk called data all what we had before. You click users and you can see this was the last name I used was user. We're going to double click that. So you can see that you have your old desktop documents, downloads, movies, pictures and everything back. And then all you have to do is you can just retransfer everything that you have. So let's just transfer the customer data back into the desktop. All right, that's going to take quite a while. Let's see. Actually, it's the same hard drive, so it should be really fast. Look how fast. It's already a gig. 
pretty fast. Once you get everything that you wanted to transfer, you want to get that disk space back. So that's a lot of gigs. I just use 162 gigs just for that one. So let's go back to the disk utility. All you have to do is just delete that partition that you just used before. All right, so all you have to do is just hit erase. All right, and you can see the volume actually went down quite a bit there. So what you want to do, then you just want to hit delete and you just want to delete that one so then you get all the disk space back you can see here now we have all that room right back to the way it was before okay and you just have one of each now and that's how you do it so one thing you want to do you want to make sure you do have enough space to do this if you have a 500 gig hard drive and you have about 250 to 300 gigs of data this probably isn't going to work because you definitely need to double that space because obviously you're still having the same hard drive both times. So you need to have whatever space you have, you need to have space for that as well. Now, again, you do lose applications. Anything that's installed, you do lose. Um, you can reinstall if you have the packages again or if you just have anything else that you can just reinstall. But that's not the biggest issue. The main thing is getting your pictures, your documents, anything on the desktop, anything that you created, any movie files, any of that stuff we can transfer over. So, and that's how you get the disk base back. Pretty cool feature that they actually did this in macOS Catalina. So, anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this very helpful, please leave a comment. Or you can also, of course, subscribe for more content we have coming up. I'll show you a lot of other cool things I see come along. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one. Bye.